Oh, geez. So, oh, geez. Here's a second one. It's in the head and the hand there. I guess that's a defensive wound. Okay, where's the state trooper? Hmm, so we got a state trooper, pull someone over, we got a shooting, and these folks drive by, we got a high speed pursuit, ends here, and this execution type deal. I'd be very surprised if our suspect was from Brainerd, yeah. And I'll tell you what, from his footprints, he looks like a big fella. Oh, I just uh, think I'm gonna barf. Oh, I'm fine, just morning sickness. Let's take a look at that tripper, trooper. There's two of them over here, Lou. Yeah, this guy, uh, he's smaller than his buddy. For Pete's sake. Well, he's got his gun in his hip there and he looks like a nice enough guy. It's a real shame. Hey, you haven't monkeyed around with this car, have you? Have you? Looks like somebody shut off his lights. I guess the little guy sat there waiting for his buddy to come back. Uh, where am I? Uh, I keep, I have to, I have to reorient myself. This is, this is the Unis University of Wisconsin, right? You know, so I, I, I'm always, I'm tense. And uh, when, I, when I'm playing a, a college, I'm very bad history with colleges. You know, I, I went to New York University and uh, I was thrown out of NYU for my freshman year for uh, <laughs> cheating on my met metaphysics final, you know, and I, I looked within the, the soul of the boy sitting next to me. And when I was thrown out, my mother, who's an emotionally high strung woman, uh, locked herself in the bathroom and, and took an overdose of Mahjong vibes. And um, I, was, I was depressed. I was uh, in analysis. I, I uh, was suicidal, as a matter of fact. Uh, I, I would have killed myself, but I was in analysis with, this, with a strict Freudian. And if you, you kill yourself, they make you pay for the sessions you miss. Holy testicle Tuesday! I came to confess I was the second man and on the grass signal. Woo! Now I feel better. Of course, that might not do any good. You see, nobody's missing a porpoise. It's a dolphin that's been taken. The common harbor porpoise has an abrupt snout, pointed teeth, and a triangular thoracic fin. While the bottlenose dolphin, or Therese Chirsiops truncatus, has an elongated beak, round cone-shaped beak teeth, and a distinctive serrated dorsal appendage. But I'm sure you already knew that. That's what turned me on about you. Hey, maybe I'll give you a call sometime, Lieutenant. Your number is still 911? Uh... All righty then. Didn't I? Well, I wasn't. But it wasn't for lack of trying. I can tell you that. Actually, Bill's last bullet put me in a coma. A coma I was lying for five years. When I woke up, I went on. What the movie advertisements refer to as a roaring rampage of revenge? I roared and I rampaged and I got bloody satisfaction. In all, I've killed 33 people to get to this point right now. I have only one more, the last one. The one I'm driving to right now the only one left. And when I arrived at my destination, I'm gonna kill Bill. It's me, Bunny Fist. You love Frank Drevin and Frank Drevin loves you. Jane, 
listen to me. If you don't love me, you might as well pull that trigger because without you, I wouldn't want to live anyway. I finally found someone I can love. A good, clean love without utensils. It's a topsy-turvy world, Jane. And maybe the problems of two people don't amount to a hill of beans. But this is our hill, and these are our beans. Since I met you, I've noticed things I've never knew were there. Birds singing, dew glistening on a newly formed leaf, <laughs> stoplights. Jane, this morning I bought something for you. It's not very much, but it's pretty good for an honest policeman's salary. It's an engagement ring. I have given it to you earlier, but I wanted to wait until we were alone. I don't want to try to be loved anymore. And, you know, I don't want to be scared anymore. Or to kill anymore. I just don't want to be alone anymore. I don't need a reason to kill myself. I need a reason not to. And really, there isn't one. Did you know that identical twins are never really identical? There's always one who's prettier than the other. And the one that's not does all the work. She used me, and then she left me. Just like you. I was sheriff of this county when I was 25. Hard to believe. Grandfather was a lawman. Father, too. Me and him was sheriff at the same time. Him in the Plano and me here. I think he was pretty proud of that. I know I was. Some of the old-time sheriffs never even wore a gun. A lot of folks find that hard to believe. Jim Scarborough never carried one. That the younger Jim... Gaston Boykins wouldn't wear one up in the Cumon County. I always like to hear about the old timers. Never missed a chance to do so. Brother Hoskins over in Batrop County knows everybody's phone number off by heart. You can't help but compare yourself against the old timers. Can't help but wonder how they would have operated these times. There was this boy I sent to, the, to Huntsville here a while back. My arrest and my testimony. He killed a 14-year-old girl. Papers said it was a crime of passion, but he told me there wasn't any passion to it. Told me that he'd been planning to kill somebody for about as long as he could remember. Said if they turned him out, he'd do it again. Said he knew he was going to hell. Be there in about 15 minutes. I don't know what to make of that. I surely don't. The crime you see now, it's hard to, to even take. It's, it's measure. It's not that I'm afraid of it. I always knew you had to be willing to die to even do this job. Not to be glorious. But I don't want to push my chips forward and go out and meet something I don't understand. You can say it's my job to fight. And to fight it but I don't know what it is anymore. More than that, I don't know what to know. A man would have, a man would have to put his soul at hazard. He would have to say, okay, I'll be part of this world. How much does your life weigh? Imagine for a second that you are carrying a backpack. I want you to feel the straps on your shoulders. Feel them? Now, I want you to pack it with all the stuff you have in your life. You start with the little things, the things on shelves and drawers, the knickknacks, the collectibles. Feel the weight as it adds up. 
then you start adding larger stuff clothes tabletop appliances lamps linens your tv the back should be getting pretty heavy now and you go bigger your couch your bed your kitchen table stuff it all in there your car get it in there your home whether it's a studio apartment or a two bedroom house. I want you to stuff it all that in that backpack. Now try to walk. Kind of hard, isn't it? This is what we do to ourselves on a daily basis. We weigh ourselves down until we can't even move and make no mistake, moving is living. Now I'm gonna set that backpack on fire. What do you want to take out? Photos? Photos are for people who can't remember. Drink some ginkgo, let the photos burn. In fact, let everything burn. And imagine waking up tomorrow with nothing. It's kind of exhilarating, isn't it?